All right, guys, let's do this. Uh, Mortal Kombat 10 Goro from Storm Collectibles. Got this via Big Bad Toy Store a couple of days ago. So I figure, let me share. Very excited to have this one in the collection. I do have a, a couple of Mortal Kombat figures from Storm Collectibles. I'm hoping, at least from what I hear, that for now, anyway, the license or Storm Collectibles may have paused on making any more uh, Mortal Kombat figures. So I'm hoping that's just temporary and eventually we'll get more because at least for the ones that I have, uh, they look really cool. I have Shao Kahn, Liu Kang, Kung Lao, Reptile, and now uh, this guy, which looking at him from the back of the box, he looks awesome. Um, he looks very imposing. You get a lot of accessories. So I'm gonna open this up, give you guys a bit of a look here, but uh, here's the packaging, you know, um, Let's see what this guy's all about. So in the box uh, with Goro, you do get a variety of hands. You get about eight pairs of hands in addition to the four that he already comes uh, with. And as you can see, he gets quite a bit. Of course, having four arms um, requires quite a bit number of hands, but you get a whole bunch in different um, positions and uh, different poses here. So again, you have a huge variety of hand. I laid them out all out here But you can switch hands to your heart's content, which again for Goro makes sense. He's got eight arms So these are the hands as far as heads in addition to the one that he comes with you do get two extra ones The first one being this one, which is more of an angry uh, Look which is different from the neutral one that he comes with. Uh, I think the expressions are done really well uh, the eyes, love the red eyes, and again, the teeth there stand out to me. Uh, and, you know, the brown skin complexion, uh, it's not just all plain brown. You got different shades to give them a bit more detail. And, of course, you got the line work there on the forehead, on the chin, around the, the mouth area. So he definitely looks apart. Uh, you do get the additional ponytail here, which can move. Uh, on mine, they're a little stiff. I would be just really careful with twisting the head while grabbing here uh, because you'll probably end up breaking something so I would make sure that if you're gonna turn this that you grab by the red part the red bandana here and then slowly turn the head because you could risk this is very stiff at least on mine but the expression is really cool the next one would be this head and I think I prefer this one because of course I think if it's Goro he's screaming he is angry, he is about to uh, definitely hurt someone there. And again, I think that head sculpt is done really, really well. So you could see it, they're very similar to, you know, this other one as far as the skin complexion and the details, you could see them there. Um, but you know, you get that additional added detail in the mouth with the tongue and, and et cetera. So I think these look really cool. You can also, uh, turn this, but again on mine, these are very stiff, so I would be very careful that you don't try to turn the head while grabbing here. Um, don't want to risk breaking anything. At least this one seems a bit easier to turn, but the hair is able to move around on the head. So that is the second head sculpt. You also do get a background, which I will show you in a second. A lot of these Storm Collectible figures come with uh, this background. This one's no different. Uh, I guess I'm kind of surprised that we didn't get the Mortal Kombat dragon as a background. I think that's been the one that I've seen, uh, at least in the ones that I have, like Shao Kahn, Reptile, uh, Kung Lao, and Liu Kang. So I showed you all the accessories. That's the extent of everything you get with this guy. So a ton of hands and two separate heads. Um, I think for this type of figure, for me, in my book, it's more than sufficient because, of course, the main uh, attraction here is this pretty big guy, Goro. Um, he looks awesome, very imposing, right out of the box. I showed you two other heads. Uh, the head that he does come with, or at least the head that he came with uh, for me in the packaging, was uh, this one, where it's a bit more of a neutral uh, expression here. And again, very similar look, just uh, more of a, I guess, serious look, but you still got the red eyes. You've got the, you know, details with the darker browns, lighter browns, the line work there on the head, which definitely looks cool. Uh, this head, you can freely move the ponytail around, unlike the other two. Uh, that's why I said you just have to be a little careful. On this one, it's, it's pretty loose. I was kind of hoping the other two heads it would be the same. 
uh, but this one you should have, uh, at least on mine, I have no issue with moving it left and right. Uh, but the details on the head are awesome. Definitely, definitely a great looking uh, figure. And of course you can move the, the head fully around as well. Uh, then as we move on down here, he comes with this cool little necklace, which you can take off if you choose to. Um, it kind of gets in the way sometimes when playing with the head. Um, I don't mind it too much, but again, you've got some nice detailing there with the, I think it's like a dark brown with, uh, you know, these red jewels going around his neck. So that definitely, definitely looks pretty, pretty cool. Moving on down, of course, this is stone collectible figure. So one of the things they usually do to allow you to pose these figures better is they give you a bit of a rubber chest in this case this whole upper section here is all uh, soft rubber and definitely love the huge wide chest in this guy definitely very fitting for for Goro and again you got more of the detail right you got lighter browns darker browns you got line work uh, so it's not all plain you got some veins running up here on the top right uh, part of the chest and then as you move on down here uh, this whole torso area, the bottom part with the abs, definitely well done, well sculpted. Uh, it's all really hard plastic, so he does not have an ab crunch feature, uh, simply because this whole section is just hard plastic, but again, man, is it well done. Uh, and then as we move on down, of course, uh, more uh, a special aspect of this figure is the fact that he has uh, four hands here. So if you guys could see it there, four awesome hands um, again continuing with the detail that is in the body with uh, you know the lighter tones of um, brown and darker lines etc to give it more uh, you know of a detailed uh, look there and uh, you know you've got this gauntlets he's got uh, a pair on the upper hands here and you guys can see it's got some nice detail some gold with the brown and then this uh, gray fur, I want to call it. And then of course you got the hands here and then the same thing on the uh, bottom hands, I'm going to call them here. Um, so again, really cool that they've managed to cram quite a bit of detail uh, here on this figure. Then moving on down right here on the waist piece. Uh, this is probably my favorite part of the figure detail wise. Uh, they've managed to, you know, include what looks like, I guess, fur or, or whatever you may call it in dark gray. And you've got this uh, little silver uh, metal thing or on his belt piece. But this whole brown and red, uh, again, is done really, really well. And you've got this whole red details on the skirt pieces on the side. The torn loincloth here looks really cool. And then as we turn this guy around, You've got this red, uh, I'm going to call it piece here, just hanging down, which again looks really cool. And then moving on to the back, same detailing as the front. I think this is all, again, really well done. He's got brown briefs underneath. Um, so again, looks really, really cool. And a lot of detailing here on the waist uh, is done really well. And then moving on down to the legs, again, you get the same complexion as the rest of the body, but you get a lot more muscle definition, some more veins, and again, the different uh, browns to give it, uh, you know, that definition. But definitely, Koro does not skip uh, leg day. And then moving on down, you continue down to the legs, more detail, uh, the shin guard here with the different gold accents, the belts, the buckles. Uh, this burgundy or red or whatever you want to call it is done really well. These shin guards are really, really good. I think the armor, uh, whatever armor pieces this guy has, the loincloth and the uh, shin guard are done extremely well. You got buckles on the back here. So again, that is really cool. And then the last thing, of course, his feet. And, um, you know, I would say it's done uh, fairly okay. Nothing too too special, but you know what's there works. You've got this black line work here that's supposed to be part, I guess, I guess of his footwear there. But uh, yeah, overall, I think the details looking from the front are really cool. And then as we move on to the back, there is uh, some more detail, especially on the upper back here. Try to give you a better look, but you could see obviously Goro being part dragon. Uh, or descendant of dragons. I keep forgetting what the lore is around it, uh, this guy. 
um, but love you know all of this little almost like charcoal burnt skin and the little plates and, and detail that is there and continues on to the upper arms as well on both sides so again that is really really cool and then you know the lower back again this is hard plastic but again you still got the same uh, brown skin complexion with the you know darker colors lighter colors to give it definitely uh, a lot more detail so overall detail work in this guy is really well done definitely i think they 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 did their uh, their thing with uh goro here articulation wise as i mentioned the head can move the chest itself here on the upper portion is soft rubber so you can make him uh, look down all right you, there is a ratchet there and it's a very substantial one so that is really cool so he can slightly look down as i said he doesn't have app crunch because again this is just hard plastic the arms here you've got you know your regular stern collectibles like shoulders so you can turn this fully around he can stretch you can go uh forward uh back you got your uh, elbows here a little uh probably about 90 degrees and you can do the same thing on both sides and of course because you got the extra pair of hands the these hands could do just about the same uh they are a bit i guess um limited by this uh, hard plastic shell because as you could see they can only go up and down this much but you can spin them around you know you got a hinge there uh, at the elbow the shoulder and then same thing at the elbow 90 you can turn these hands around too similarly to these upper hands you can turn them fully around and again you you are going to be able to get some good range and good poses out of this guy the waist fully i mean if you wanted to you can turn it fully around without any issue so no problems there he can kick the skirt's gonna get uh, a bit in the way here so just be really careful you don't want to break anything but he can kick up about that much and probably kick back like that and of course the knee you guys could see he's got a little more uh just about 90 i guess i would say for the knee the ankles here can move mine were a little stiff out of the box i would just be really careful and they can pivot but again it's a little tight so i would just be really careful and you've got the uh toe articulation there that moves up and down uh, but overall uh, i'm actually quite impressed uh with uh goro here you know he's a pretty he uh, big meaty figure and uh i think he's going to be able to strike some really uh, cool poses. Uh, I guess see, my only worry would be is him being so uh, top heavy here, You're right with the forearms and and the upper chest and etc. Um, you know, my joints are nice and tight, so thankfully I don't think this guy will topple. So as we head towards the end of the video, just want to close by doing some comparisons. I did switch his head out here with, uh, and then also one of the arms was relatively simple. You just kind of pulled them out and pop them back on so yeah that worked out pretty well and as i said let's do some quick comparisons here i had some other storm collectible figures first starting with uh balrog here or m bison depending on where you're at this is from the uh, super street fighter 2 uh, i believe uh, collection there so you could see what they look like size wise and then i also took out king from the uh, Tekken 7. Now, uh, these guys are big. They're not necessarily the biggest, but just took them out to so you, you guys could see there what these two look like uh, size different wise. So, yeah, we'll move them out of the way. And then we also have uh, Geese Howard here from Fatal Fury. I think this is technically the King of Fighters uh, version, but you could see him there with this uh, little bling uh, striking a pose, of course. No competition, Goro there is uh, humongous. Just trying to get him a bit more in frame. So there you go. And then of course, I uh, had to bring out my man, uh, Sanjeev, or Sanjeev, depending on how you say it. Uh, Goro is still way taller. Uh, of course, size-wise, Sanjeev is pretty meaty figure himself. So uh, they're about uh, the same size and thickness. But of course, Goro there is much uh, taller. I would say probably about two heads <laughs> taller than than Sangeef there. So we'll move these two out of the way. Just want to show you guys to see what that looks like. 
And lastly, some Mortal Kombat figures. These are the only ones that I have. In addition to Goro, I do have Liu Kang here and Kung Lao. And again, I don't know if these are a bit undersized, and I always knew that Goro was humongous. Uh, looking at the, these figures, I have no idea how Liu Kang even landed a hit on Goro at any point during that Mortal Kombat tournament. Uh, but yeah, that, that's how these uh, two figures stack up uh, next uh, to them. I also do have um, Reptile here. Of course, Reptile is a much uh, a smaller figure, just like Liu Kang and Kung Lao. But just wanted to show it, show that so you guys could see what that looks like there. So we'll move them out of the way. And then uh, lastly, of course, I have to get Emperor Shao Kahn. So you guys can see they are right next to each other. Again, no, no competition there. Goro is definitely bigger than um, Shao Kahn there. And then lastly, uh, the Liu Kang that I got did come with the, uh, the green, his, what's it called, a uh, fatality dragon. Just trying to give you guys a bit of a better look here. The dragon's definitely way taller than Goro, but you guys can see the the size uh, difference there. So all in all, very happy with Goro here. I'm hoping we still continue to get uh, more Mortal Kombat figures. Uh, so far, as I said, these the ones you see right now on your screen are the only ones that I have. Um, so yeah, I may opt to get uh, Kintaro, Motaro, and Shiva perhaps to round out the collection uh, if we're not going to get any more. But Goro himself here looks awesome, definitely very imposing, definitely, I think in my book, worth it if you're into collecting Storm Collectibles uh, Mortal Kombat figures. But that's it for me, guys. If I missed anything, if you have any questions, as always, feel free to leave a comment. If you made it to the end, thank you so much for your very valuable time, and I will catch you in the next video. Take care.